Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. Chris Angel, you may know him, you also may love him. I've been aware of Chris Angel for a very long time. I remember when he had a show Mind Freak on the television. I used to like be really scared by him. He would do shit like grow his hair out and dye it black and then look at the screen and he was oh so scary. He was oh so scary. He would do things like cut people open and like put, I don't know, his balls in their open wound. I don't know. All I know is that it was really traumatizing when I was a child. The very first thing that I remember seeing of Chris Angel was this video where he walks on water. And as a kid, I was like, what the hell is happening? No way did he just do this. I literally thought that he was a full on wizard, maybe even a mind freak. But now I look at the comments and then it explains how this trick is done and it sort of just ruins the allure for me. Let's check it out and see if it's as cool as I remember it. Not as cool as I remember. Especially since he's like holding on to a camcorder. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this shit? <laughs> Look at that. It's like a dad at his daughter's soccer game. Like, you're doing great, sweetie. Except he's like recording himself walking on water. Except he's not. Like, what I was looking at is people were like, it's just like a clear platform. No, that's fine. That actually literally ruins it for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good angle, buddy. Oh, his shoe's gone. Oh, is he Jesus? Jesus Christ. Literally Jesus Christ walking on water. Like when I was a kid, I was like, no way is this happening right now. None of this is happening right now. I wasn't a believer in Christ himself, but I watched this and I was like, this guy must have him on speed dial. Now I look at the current Chris Angel stuff and he's still doing a show in Las Vegas. Let's check it out. And in the final round, they will both attempt one of Chris's most mind-blowing signature illusions. Uh, the greatest levitation of all time. <laughs> That's it, and then it just cuts. <laughs> Fucking Chris Angel. What are you doing? Look at him. How can you take him seriously? What the heck? Yeah, happy Halloween from Uncle Bobby. <laughs> is this what getting rich does to your brain? <laughs> oh my God. This is my hero. Sunglasses indoors, king. Leather jacket, king. Finger tattoos, king. Uh, let's check out some of his other classic stunts. Okay, it's okay? Okay. Okay, cool. So let me ask you something. Do you ever think about what you're gonna look like when you're 20 years old? Is this to catch a predator? I feel like Chris Hansen is going to come around that corner any minute. You do? How old are you? Eight. You're eight. If I told you that I might be able to make you 20 years old right now, would you want to see what you look like? Yeah. You would? Yeah. You want to do it? Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Do you want to be 20? I know you're eight right now, but do you want to be 20? And she's got this merch on. The first thing that we have to do to make you look like you're 20, gotta dress you up like a 20 year old, right? Your mom's shopping, we'll have some fun, okay? No, 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 no. Uh, if you're a parent, why would you leave your kid alone with this guy? This guy out of anyone in the world. Why would you leave your kid with Chris Angel? He literally calls himself mind freak. And you're like, no, my impressionable child is going to be great with him. Right? Your mom shopping. We'll have some fun. Okay? Let's get a jacket. Pick a jacket out of here. Oh, that's good. This one. You like that one? That's going to be huge on you. Slip this on. Okay, that's not good. At first, I was like, well, at least it's a jacket and not like a cocktail dress. And then he says, slip this on? Excuse me? Slip this on? The only time I've ever heard anyone say slip this on is like in a movie when people are right about to have sex. Why don't I slip into something a little more comfortable? This is an eight-year-old with a jacket. Put your arm in there. <laughs> <laughs> My hat sucks. Take a look in the mirror. She's like, it looks like shit. <laughs> Doesn't look good, Chris. Chris, maybe you should just stick to magic ching. You put a hat on my head that covers up most of my face. Watch. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna put you up here first. Get a step stool. Have her try to get up herself. Then there could be like some comedic value. This little eight-year-old crawls up. That's funny. You grabbing her is not. I'm gonna come up there. Yes, like this. 
Perfect. Now. Melanie, are you ready to do this? Is he going to hang her? What's he doing? He's like, are you ready to do this? There's something on the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah? All right. Let's try it. Let's try it. Just relax. Wait, why do, why did you pick her up like that if you're not doing anything? Completely relaxed. That's good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to envision yourself as a 20-year-old. Like you're growing, okay? And you're growing. And you're growing. There you go. There you go. And you're growing. And you're growing. And look at that. Wow. How do you feel? I feel like I'm 20. Exactly. <laughs> Old TV is the best. Are you kidding me? How do you feel? I feel like I'm 20. Yeah, no fucking shit. Obviously, you're an actress. <laughs> go ahead. Voila. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm really 20! Oh my god! Mom! Mom! Excuse me! Mom, who are you? Mom! Who are you? That little... <laughs> that little look. Mom! Mom! Excuse me! Mom, who are you? Yeah, I did that. I did that. Those are some chunky crosses, sir. All right, let's look at this next clip. Just based off the title itself, I feel like this one's going to be a good one. Chris Angel performs sex change on a man <laughs> and woman. Huh? Oh, just dumped him. Just dumped him on his head. A poor guy. Why'd you do that? He has brain damage now. Those are fake legs. Look at this. Those are just different legs. Nobody has smooth legs like that. That's not a thing. That's a Madame Tussauds creation. Look at that. Uh-oh. Love that freeze frame. Let's read the comments. Just hilarious. I love it. The guy woke up like WTF. Thank you, Chris. I needed this. Shut up. How do you do this? Shadows are changed and the lady's face is different from the first. All right. Let's check this one out. Chris Angel in a short interview of him kissing this girl on the lips. He looks so hot here. What's going on? I'm Satu, your magical mistress of media. Here for e-asylum in Bryant Park, New York City. We're about to witness a death-defying stunt by mind freak mastermind Chris Angel. So how are we supposed to believe that you'll be in there for 33 hours? Why? Well, I, I thought you were going to stay with me all 33 hours right next to the tank. <laughs> oh, he's a player. He's a little, a little literal sex icon is what I'm trying to say. It didn't come out the first time, but it's fine. You're going to spend 32 hours in what seems like water. I don't know if I could spend 32 hours in an enclosed space with my significant other, and I love her with all my heart, let alone a random reporter who just loves magic. True thing. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Chris, and good luck today. Thank you very much. Can I have a kiss right here? Thank you. Now that's a magic trick. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh my god. I forgot. Chris Angel has music. Probably gonna get copyrighted. It's fine. Let's see. Oh, probably not. Somebody says, I actually really like this song. I wish it was on Spotify. It's good that it isn't on Spotify because hopefully I won't get claimed. This might be the thing that I saw when I was a kid that really scared me. So I'm going to show you Chris Angel with a V-neck that is comical. That is, it's like the Karen haircut. Like this is somebody who goes into Marshalls and complains because the prices aren't cheap enough. The style on this is awesome. This looks like something that you would pass on in Goodwill. You would see this and you'd be like, how can anybody wear that? It's just so ripped. And little did you know, you passed up on a magic artifact. If you eat a cockroach, you might have like, I don't know, like a thousand in your body right now. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> can I try something with you? Sure. Ooh. Sensual. Uh, can I try something with you? Doesn't ask if he can lick down her arm, but says, you mind if I just do a magic trick? Then he's like, I'm actually going to fornicate with you. She's like, I actually didn't, I didn't agree to that. That doesn't sound like a magic trick to me. He's like, you mind if I try something? Uh, what that tongue do? Cockroaches. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Ew. Oh, oh my God. 
He's the most disgusting fucking person I've ever seen. I love knowing that he had cockroaches in his mouth saying this. I could do this fucking trick. I could put a bunch of worms in my mouth and go, I think you've got worms in your arm and go, <laughs> worms in your arm, suck on that. Now I'm a big basketball fan. And once I saw that Shaquille O'Neal was levitated by Chris Angel, I, I had to click. Levitated. That's what, yeah. Levitate me, Shaq says. Okay. Oh, some nice, uh, this is like kind of some sensual R&B music. I feel like I'm listening to maybe uh, some boys to men. <laughs> Actually, that's one of Chris Angel's fucking tricks. Turning boys to men. Turning <laughs> girls into women. <laughs> Guys. Guys, are you seeing this? <laughs> this is Shaquille O'Neal in the air. Thank you very much. It shows at the beginning. Levitate me. Levitate me? Like, it doesn't show him going into the trick. Oh, nothing under it. I'm glad to know that the fake Shaq, the Shaq balloon, the edited Shaq still has a hog on him. Guys. <laughs> Guys. This is like a UFO sighting if the UFO is the most dominant center in NBA history. <laughs> all right, all right. Are they trying? There are no shadows. It's just. <laughs> Guys. Guys. <laughs> that doesn't look good. There's nothing there. That was fucking amazing. And lastly, the Chris Angel death jump. One of my favorite stunts of all time. I'll just get to like the classic part. So here we go. We've got a cage right here. Good. Nice, Chris. Don't know what the cage is for. Then we got like this thing that you see 60 year old men driving in on a summer day and then a ramp. Okay. So the helicopter is being put in front of the ramp. Oh, I get it. I get it. This is going to work really well. So he's going to jump the bike. Okay. And then he's going to end up in the cage. I'm wondering like the logistics of this, like he is a magician, but this still doesn't make any sense. The thing with magic is like, this is still somewhat believable. Yeah. You got cockroaches in your arm. You know, I just don't understand how like logistically he's going to get up the ramp and then ditch the vehicle. Right. And then uh, the trajectory of the jump into the cage, it doesn't make any sense. We're going to show you a continuous shot of the helicopter hovering over the ramp with the empty cage. That thing looks like it's gonna that crash. That shot will never cut and will not go off screen until I'm safely in really, the Really, it's never gonna cut. Three, two, uh oh, here we go. go. Just gotta pick up some speed, there we go. Guys, I'm not kidding you. That is not what I expected. I expected any kind of realism. That was perfect in every way. The vehicle, we don't know where it went. When does the explosion start? Okay, so the vehicle's there. Probably, you know, brakes. Yeah! yeah! Then he just starts screaming. Right there, bitch! I did that shit! Whoa, Chris, get down here! Get down here, Chris! We gotta talk to you about this! Right the hell's in his hand? Is that like a piece of leather? What is that? Is that a steak? It's like, yeah, I cooked this steak in the fire that my vehicle caused. All right. Well, I'm glad that Chris Angel was able to teach me some magic tricks. I hope that maybe you learned something out of this video as well. Comment below if you liked the first magic trick that he did where he turned an eight-year-old into a 20-year-old. It was really cool. Thank you to all my patrons for sponsoring this video along with my clothing brand and fun for people with chronic illness. Never stop. The links to both of those will be in the description below. Subscribe. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.